Nearly every marriage faces this problem at some stage when one or both of you unexpectedly find yourselves out of a job. There are some things you just can't plan for. In this video, Benzer and Sandra tell us how they cope with it. Glad you could join us. What happened when Sandra lost her job? She uh, had no means to pay a mortgage. Okay. Um, whereas I, at the at that time, I was working, and um, you know, I was uh, although I was uh, looking after my mum at the time, um, <clears throat> I didn't really have any uh, bills as such to pay. So a lot of my mortgage, uh, sorry, my money was actually um, surplus in my account. Technically, uh, we were preparing to um, get married, get married and, live and live yeah. together um, again, and. Um, So I just said, well, um, I think it's something along the lines of, so, well, seeing as we're going to get married very soon, I might as well start paying the mortgage. And Were you planning on moving into her house? Yes, yes, I was. Okay, yeah. So, so it, it was sense. really going to be our house after yeah. we were okay. married. How long were you out of the workforce, Sandra? Well, then I went to Bible college and I was there uh, out for about a year, I think. You're out of work for, for that whole time? Out of that, that whole time. How did you feel? I guess we were getting remarried and then we got remarried. And so um, Benza was looking after us and I knew and that I And he was working. Would, and he was working. And I guess I knew that I would be getting a job. And I mean, there, there's been um, in our first marriage where Benza... Um, wasn't working as well where he was in between jobs yeah. so there was a time when I was the one um, sort of just the one the only one working and then it was only for a short space of time um, so it's kind of something you take in your marriage okay. it's because we know that uh, on both occasions we knew that it, we would be getting jobs I found I was very uncomfortable during that year of Bible college when both of us were not working. See, you yeah, both. Yeah, no, I, I, that was the only time in our lives yeah. when we, neither one of us had a job. And, um, at the time, I thought that it was it was the right thing to do. Yeah. But I was never comfortable with yeah. not earning money. I mean, for me, being on uh, welfare is not an option. No, no. I've been in a situation where I have been, um, you know, what, job seekers, job seekers allowance, and okay. that, and the demoralisation that you feel. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. How long were you out of work? Two, three months. Yeah, it was something only like it was something like that. It was yeah. just because so it wasn't we could weather it. Whatever, Fortunately, yeah, what, it, it, but it was about a month or so. Um, yeah, I would say it was probably about a month um, mm -hmm. being on uh, that. And the the bills started to stack up a little. Yeah. And I realized I was getting desperate. And it did cause a little bit of a friction because obviously I didn't I was in a bit of a limbo and I didn't know what, what kind of job I was doing. So I then was desperate for for work. And um, I literally, as they say, got got on my bike and started looking for work. Benza and Sandra pitched in and helped each other overcome being unemployed. Their reaction was teamwork and mutual support. What would you do differently? In next week's interview, Larry and I will be talking about our times when one or other of us was the main wage owner. See you then. God bless and bye for now. Bye.